But usually, after wedding is bride, they disappear. And there's so much chaos there. Oh, who gave the peer system? They want a check for their money, cleaning up the homes, the drums, the water, the wine, everything. It's just confusion there. But he has escaped. They normally go to Anatolia, to Europe, where for their honeymoon. <coughs> With his bride. After he comes back, I was so amazed because I had gone to town, you know. And that's the day that he had come back. They had come back the night before from Anatolia. My friend there, they went to Anatolia, Turkey, to honeymoon. It was a Saturday. Because I was surprised, why is she still wearing the wedding gown? <coughs> she was still wearing the wedding gown. He's holding her hand, walking with her in the street, brought her back to show the world his bride. Finally, he's showing the world, he's parading his bride. Look, my bride. Look at how clean her gown. I was wondering, why is this woman still wearing the so white, so pure gown? That is what Isaiah saw. And close yourself for a little while. There is tempest here, confusion here. But then you return with him. He is coming to show the world, look at my bride. Coming to Jerusalem. Seven years. So that gown you prepare is very critical. It is eternal. And that's why he said, you cannot wait for rapture. You just have to get ready, light your lamp now. Because it's one minute to midnight. I cannot be teaching these things in Germany, in other countries. We have TV programs, we air. We are sending them everywhere. And yet inside here, people are not aware they are waiting for rapture. Why are you waiting? You have been told it will happen. You see that? Eh? You'd rather be ready today. And make sure on a daily basis you're ready. If there is somebody who's flashing you an SMS, a lady, and you think, you, you know, the Holy Spirit can help you to discern that this is not clean, you know? Those are the things you delete out. You prepare today and you repent. If there, was a, if there is a secretary in an office, not clean enough, the way she's acting towards you, he says, take a knife and remove that eye. You see that? Take a, an axe and cut that arm. You see that? Do something radical for Christ. He did something radical for you on the cross. You see? You cannot sit there, okay, but the day of the rapture, say, I will do that, I'll prepare. What do you mean you'll prepare? I want to show you that that day he comes to close the door. That's why every day, every country says, on November 1st, the Lord, he opened the door and the glory came up, which means I looked back and I almost collapsed. I said, wow, Kumbe, he sent me across the nations to announce that the door is open. I was shocked recently when I discovered, when he talked to me about the door. I now understood. Now I could look back at all the tapes in every country, every place. I said, on November 1st, he opened heaven. That is what he sent Noah to do. Tell them it's open now. It is soon going to close. The rapture day is the day for closing. You cannot wait. I will prepare. Mm -mm, you prepare now. Because he comes like a thief. Second coming, we know, after rapture, seven years. You know? Listen to this. He says, Verse 36, the book of Matthew 24, I'm finishing now. No one knows about the day or the hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son of Man, but only the Father. Verse 37, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man, for in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about, about what would happen until the flood came and took them away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. 
two men will be in the field one will be taken and the other left two women will be, two women will be grinding with a hand mill one will be taken and the other left therefore keep watch did you hear that keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. That is the same watch he talks about in the Garden of Gethsemane. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he took the same three. He had 12 apostles. There was the whole population around there, but only 12 were drawn to him. You see that? That means that 12 was really a remnant. Do you hear me? Out of the whole population, only 12 were drawn to him, following him. But, out of the 12, he pulled out only 3. That is the purification Zechariah saw. That the remnant I will take pass through fire and now pull out my people, the 3. Hallelujah. Peter, John, and James. When it was time to go to the mountain of transfiguration and reveal the Christ in him, the glory of Christ, he took the three. Do you hear me? My people now. I will say they are my people and they will say the Lord is our God. The others even confused his name. When he was walking in water, some of them said, look, it is a ghost coming. They did not even identify Christ right. They did not know whom they were walking with. I see that in the church today. I see multitudes of Christians walking without knowing the Christ they are walking with. Otherwise, they would have not fallen to sin. He took out Peter, James, and John to the mountain of transfiguration. And reveal the Messiah, they saw a mighty visitation. Even the rapture cloud, even the open door to heaven, they saw. The door that I'm announcing here today. At the Garden of Gethsemane, he pulled out the same tree and then he warned them, he said, Be watchful. Don't sleep. Be watchful. Don't ever sleep. 